This is Hi Puta. This is Hi Puta. Hello. <laughs> Today we will discuss the topic of the pain after breakup in relationship. I think many of you might have experienced this at least once. So how does Buddhism view breakup and how can you overcome the pain? Today we will ask Zen Master Ji Gong for his wise answers. Hello Zen Master Ji Gong. Hello. I'll let you know how to do self suggestion and how to comfort yourself. First, I talk to myself as I look at myself. How long will you keep living like this, locked in sadness? How long will you keep living like this? How long will you keep living like this? At some point, as you become aware, you will break free from sadness. Second, there are methods of self-suggestion. I don't know that person. I really don't know that person. Even if we live together for decades, it's true that I don't really know the depths of that person. That's a fact. Why should I be sad when someone I don't know has left? I don't know that person. Repeat like this. Third, think about meeting in the next life. There's so much I have to do in the meantime and so many things I want to do. After doing everything, I'll meet you again in the next life, looking even cooler than now. Tell yourself like this again. These three things will help you completely break free from the sadness of separation. Try practicing it. I think it seems like your words were really helpful to those who experience breakup. Normally, when people experience breakup, they would feel like they're abandoned. So how can they regain their self-esteem after a breakup? Mm. Recovery of self-esteem? Yes. Mm. When I initiate a breakup with someone versus when I receive a breakup notification from them, the experiences are completely different. Even if I still love the person who initiates the breakup, it can lead to many psychological issues for myself. The most common issues are damaged self-esteem and hurt pride, which can lead to lingering anger. However, consider this perspective. When the breakup is accepted as fate, both parties move within that fate together. Whether I initiate a breakup or receive one, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of destiny. It is destined to part ways faithfully within the interactions with the lover. Thus, there's no reason for my self-esteem or pride to suffer. It's simply each person playing their part at that moment. Don't you also sometimes initiate a breakup with someone and at other times receive one? That's just each person playing their role at different times and connecting it to one's identity doesn't align with the truth. Meeting and parting ways are clearly parts of destiny. Destiny doesn't distinguish between me and the other person. The outcome remains the same. Therefore, whether I initiate a breakup with someone or receive one, it's essentially the same thing. This realization allows me to maintain my self-esteem. Right? Yes, that's true. Thank you so much for your wise answer, said Master Ji Gong. Mm, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Whether you're in a relationship or experiencing a breakup, always remember that you are still yourself. Please don't forget that. Today, my response may be abstract, but I believe it will provide direction and guidance. I hope it has been somewhat helpful. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll be back in the next video with more interesting topics. If you subscribe and set the notification, you will receive our updates faster. We'll see you, see you next time. time.